Hello class, this is Demetrius Wilson. This is Business One. This is our final chapter for the course, Chapter 16, Using Effective Promotions. Our learning objectives are to identify the new and traditional tools that make up the promotion mix, very important. Contrast advantages and disadvantages of various advertising. Illustrate the steps of business to business and business to consumer selling processes. Uh, describe the role of the public relations department. Assess the effectiveness of various forms of sales promotion and show how word of mouth, viral marketing, blogging, podcasting, email marketing and mobile marketing actually work. Uh, be sure to read the headline story, getting to know Chris Hardwick uh, and the great things that, that uh, he's done. Quite, quite interesting. Uh, so all about promotion. That's what we'll talk about. Some of you guys may have had promotions uh, uh, in your past. Some of you guys may have promotions in your future uh, can end up being a very lucrative uh, business. Uh, the promotion promotion mix is a combination of the promotion tools and organization organization uses right this is a combination of different tools that they use whether it be through tv through uh, internet through radio uh all kind of different tools that they they actually use to promote uh their company also through public relations uh integrated marketing communication uh imc is this is a, a technique used that combines uh, all the promotion tools into one comprehensive unified uh, promotional strategy. That's what uh, integrated marketing communication is. So we're going to kind of fold everything into one, uh, make it all one integral unit, uh, which really does uh, help a company stay on the same direct path. Uh, your your uh, traditional promotion mix, uh, here's a product right here in the middle. And you have advertising, uh, which we have a couple great videos on, personal selling, all right? So somebody goes out uh, to an office, they're a salesperson, try to sell something. Uh, sales promotion, and then public relations. Uh, public relations, like they say, uh, it can, sometimes it can be tough to have the actual definition of what public relations is. So uh, the video that we have posted gives you a good, uh, really good synopsis on that. Uh, these are the steps in a promotional campaign. One, you want to identify the target market. Uh, you want to define the objectives for each element of the promotion mix, so the goals uh, should be clear and also measurable. We talked about SMART goals. Uh, three, you want to determine a promotional budget, right? So you have to know how much money you can spend. Four, you want to develop a unifying message. Uh, everything should be in alignment. Five, you want to actually implement the plan. And six, you want to evaluate the effectiveness. Uh, evaluate the effectiveness of of your promotion. Did it work? Did it not work? Did you waste your money? Uh, so uh, be sure to read these in totality. Uh, uh, they will be things that you need to focus on for the quizzes and the tests. Uh, advertising is paid non-personal uh, communication through various media uh, by organizations and individuals who are in some way identified in the advertising message. So remember, it's paid, right? So, you know, Transaction has taken place, money has changed hands, uh, but it's not personal communications, meaning it's not uh, directly directed towards you. Now, you may understand it. You say, oh, I feel just like that. But it's not, that doesn't mean that it's directly, uh, you know, made for you specifically, because otherwise, uh, if they did that, they would they would waste so much money. Uh, these are the major categories of advertising. You have retail advertising, trade advertising, business to business, which is big, institutional advertising, product advertising, advocacy advertising. Uh, comparison advertising, uh, which is funny, like think about those, uh, you know, Samsung and, and Apple commercials that you see, interactive uh, advertising, online advertising and mobile advertising. So I want you to also read this list in its totality of uh, things that you definitely need to know on the various types of advertising. Uh, this is the estimated U.S. advertising spending in 2013 by medium. Uh, these are billions of dollars and look how far TV is. It's almost 70 billion uh, dollars. Direct mail is next. Uh, you know, the direct mail that you get in, some of you guys just tear it up now. Uh, digital, uh, we're getting so much more, like I know on, on uh, Black Friday and uh, the days after Cyber Monday and everything. I got so many emails from anybody ever bought anything from online because they just flooded the, the digital marketing. Newspapers, radio, magazine, outdoor directories, you see how you know how those things have diminished uh, in the current state that that we live in. Uh, so advertising seems to be everywhere as we go on our daily daily lives. How many advertisements can you spot in this photo? So I want you to check out the photo, see how many advertisements you see. Then I also want you to just be cognizant when you're out there to look around and see what type of advertisements you see, whether it be coming through your email on your phone, uh, through Instagram, through Twitter, through Yelp, uh, all the different ways that you can get advertising through a billboard. Uh, though even like, uh, for instance, when I was telling you guys about my, my electric car and I'm charging at the station, the people who uh, 
who pay for the advertising there. This advertisement there, it's 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 everywhere. Uh, so there are advantages and disadvantages of the different types of advertising. Now I want you to review those on your own. Uh, but then this is a specific uh, place. So if you're looking in the book, you know you turn this page. If you're looking at the video, then pause it right here and look at uh, what the medium is. So for instance, uh, let's say it's newspapers, good coverage, local markets, ads can be placed quicker, higher consumer acceptance, and ads can be clipped and saved. Was a disadvantage? Ads compete with other features in the paper. Poor color. Ads get thrown away uh, with the paper. Right. I really don't look at the ads, uh, uh, you know, in the newspaper too much. So I want you to examine the advantages and disadvantages of all of these and then think about what's best for your current business, what's best for a business that you may open up on your own in the in the near or distant future. Well, this goes through just talks about the different types of advertising like television advertising talks about product placement which is great uh you know this uh, talladega nights great movie it was funny uh you saw look at look at how many times coca-cola kfc powerade you see these and if you, you're a nascar fan you see that you see all these different things like tide quaker oats all these things these you know stickers are on the car because they're, they're doing their product placement their brand advertising uh the so product placement is often subtle. Uh, you can see the product like this one shown on the table uh, in the movies and on TV shows. The goal is to influence you to want that product yourself. What product placements have you noticed uh, in your favorite TV shows and movies? It's funny, I watched the show Togetherness, um, and uh, I only started watching it because because uh, my, my daughters were, were actually on the show. And so I checked it out, great show on, on, on HBO, and then I'm watching it. It's funny because a guy's driving around in a Leaf. And a Leaf, you know, like I said, these electric cars, they don't look too great. Uh, but you can tell specifically that he's, you know, driving around in a Leaf. And I know that's part of the product placement where they say, hey, we'll give you this car, drive it around in the show, and then, you know, see how the, you know, the sales continue to go up. Uh, product placement is uh, putting products in TV shows, movies, and other media where they can actually be seen, just as we just discussed. Uh, infomercial, which as I always say, you know, I, I fall victim to the infomercials a lot of times. I watch it, examine it, say, you know what, I, I want to get one of those. It's a full-length TV program devoted exclusively to promoting goods and services. So it's promoting a specific goods and service. It could be a Nutribullet, could be, uh, you know, a Bowflex machine, uh, anything like that. Uh, you know, I bought, a, you know, quite a few things there. The Probably the worst one I ever bought was uh, the Susan Lucci uh, Pilates machine. Uh, that was probably the worst one, uh, worst uh, infomercial buy that I said. Not that it didn't work, just that I have a Susan Lucci Pilates machine. Uh, so making ethical decisions, pay per tweet. So I want you guys to check that out. Uh, so now people, you know, you obviously have to advertise differently. So you want to see how they advertise when dealing with uh, Twitter, with Facebook, uh, you know, um, Pinterest, things like that. Uh, interactive promotion is promotion process that allows marketers to go beyond a monologue where uh, sellers try to persuade buyers to buy things to a uh, uh, to a dialogue in which buyers and sellers work together to create mutually beneficial exchange relationships. So I want to hear your feedback. Fix my product. More feedback. Fix it more. And then do we have the best way the product can be? Then we go ahead and hand it over to the public. So we're all working as, as one team. <clears throat> Uh, cover girls, you guys check that out. So, you know, specifically, uh, you know, if you have Tyra Banks there, it's, uh, you know, more, uh, suited towards African American women say, Hey, you know, oh, the makeup looks good on Tyra Banks. It looks good on, uh, uh, Beyonce or looks good on Queen Latifah, then uh, maybe it's okay for, you know, for something that I should purchase or buy as opposed to something that's just directly towards uh, my ethnicity. So uh, those are these different type of campaigns that they have and they happen for a reason. Uh, reaching beyond the borders, what's in your Oreo, check that out. So, you know, Oreos used to be just one way, but now, you know, you obviously have a lot of different types of Oreos. You also have a lot of different types of Big Newtons just because of the fact that, um, uh, you know, people like certain different things and, and they see that they're marketable. You do a test market. I have a buddy who actually works for a company like that, that they pay him to, you know, try different things. And he's tried chips, uh, cigars, uh, you know, uh, dip for chips, all kind of different things, pay him a little bit of money. And uh, then they do a test market to see if it's a, a viable product. Uh, personal selling is a face to face presentation and promotion of goods and services. So I used to sell copiers. That was a face to face presentation and promotion. Now I had to go through, you know, a series of calls to set up the appointment. But the ultimate goal was get that face to face appointment and uh, sit down and sell them a, a copier. Uh, prospecting, prospecting. So this is the, the steps in the selling process. Uh, just, you know, first to say that. So you start with prospecting and prospecting is researching potential buyers and choosing uh, those most likely to buy. Then you have your uh, pre-approach. Uh, so you want to qualify the people uh, in the selling process, making sure that the people have a need for the product, the authority to buy and the willingness to listen uh, to the sales message. So if I'm selling a copier, 
Uh, if you're the, you know, the administrative assistant or secretary, you don't have the authority to purchase the copier. So, uh, you know, I don't need to, you know, be speaking about to speaking to you about, you know, about these type of decisions. Um, a prospect is a person who, uh, with the means to buy a product uh, and the authority to buy and the willingness to listen to the sales message. Right. So you want to make sure you have the right uh, uh, prospect. Uh, then you want to, you know, you want to look at your your approach and then you want to go into making the actual presentation. And you want to answer any objectives. You answer any objectives, then you want to close the sale. Uh, as, as they say in sales, ABC always be closing. Uh, then you have your follow-up process. Uh, your follow-up process, selling process isn't over until the order is actually approved and the customer's happy. So salespeople need to uh, uh, be the providers of solutions for the customers and think about what happens after the sale. Uh, so uh, what you really need to do is figure out how to bridge that gap and how to to, to lean that over to now we got to go from sales to over to customer service, give you the handoff. Now I break back and I go back to selling because my job as a salesperson is to sell. Your job as customer service is to service those customers after I sell them. Uh, trial close, which is very important, is a step in the selling process that consists of a question or statement that moves the selling process toward the actual close. So say if, if everything went wild, went right on the contract and you were approved, would you go ahead and purchase this copier? And they say yes, then that's that's true. And this is just a nice, you know, pictures are great. Pictures are worth a thousand words. It's a nice way to show the steps in the business and consumer uh, selling process. Here's the approach. Ask the questions, make the presentation, close sale, and then follow up, which is what we just went over. But, you know, it's always good to have a picture to reemphasize things. Uh, as always, your test prep, be sure to go over that. Uh, great information there that will help you on your quizzes and your final test that you're taking. That's coming up soon, right? Remember, four tests, uh, 16 chapters, uh, four chapters for each test. Uh, public relations is a function that evaluates public attitudes, changes uh, policies and uh, procedures in response to the public's requests and executes a program of action and information to earn public understanding and acceptance. So public relations is a lot of things. Like I said, the video in the chapter 16 module that I posted is a really good one. So be sure to watch that. Uh, you know, very specifically and closely. Uh, so in public relations, you want to listen to the public. Number one, you want to change policies and procedures. Uh, you want to inform people uh, you're responsive uh, to their needs, right? So all great things of, of public relations. Publicity, like they say, any publicity is good publicity in show business. Uh, well, you know, sometimes you know, yeah, it's not, but um, but they say if you're in the news, then you're getting good publicity. Uh, any information about an individual product or organization that's distributed to the public uh, through the media, and uh, that's not paid for or controlled by the seller, right? So publicity is not anything that's paid for. If you're just coming out of uh, you know, a popular club and they see you and you get that type of publicity, that's publicity that's not paid for. It's just, you know, happens like that. But maybe boost your stock as an actor. Uh, and this is, uh, you know, definitely a great uh, example. So uh, this is from goldenpalace.com. I remember this a guy, you know, come out during the Super Bowl. And he just runs out and that uh, with just, you know, barely anything covering himself. Uh, and that that's big. So you see that. But you do whatever place that is, they're going to get a lot of attention, a lot of publicity. And I'm sure you got paid handsome, handsomely for doing that and, you know, sustaining that that tackle that he took. Uh, sales promotion is a promotional tool that stimulates consumer purchases and clear uh, and dealer interest. Um, uh, uh, by means of short-term activities, right? So sales promotions, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're short-term, right? They say like here in a business-to-business -business sales promotion techniques, uh, like maybe you get like certain amounts off, you know, certain promotions that last for 30 days, 10 days. I always get one from um, a power system because I order things from them. And they say, hey, no shipping uh, from for this entire week. That does prompt me. That prompts me to buy something because, OK, this is the week that I don't have to you know pay for any shipping or if they send me something that says 20 percent off. Uh, sales promotion techniques. Uh, so if it's business to business, remember, B2B is business to business. B2C is business to sales. Uh, you have trade shows, portfolios for salespeople and deals, catalogs and convention. That's business to business. Business to consumer has a lot, you know, a lot more options, Co coupons, sense off promotions, sampling, premium, sweepstakes, contests, bonuses, catalogs, demonstrations, special events, lotteries, and in-store displays, right? In-store displays, somebody drinking a Coke and with the big thumbs up and somebody's, you know, preferably uh, pretty popular, pretty famous. <clears throat> Uh, sampling, that's great. So you could be one of those people that just love sampling, go in the store, say, hey, they got samples on Thursday. That's where we're going to go and we're going to have our sample dinner. Uh, letting consumers have a small sample of the product for no charge, right? Because you drink. if I have a sample and it's good, then maybe I may go back and, and purchase it. 
Uh, more test prep, be sure to go over that. Uh, begin uh, ready for your quiz and your tests, and then you're done with this. You know, take a break unless you're uh, coming back for winter semester. I know some of you guys are in my, you know, my winter class already. Uh, and then, you know, then you swing back into everything for the spring. Uh, so, like I said, sampling is a personal tool in which a company lets consumers have a small sample of a product for no charge. Word of mouth promotion is still, you know, the most powerful uh, promotional tool that involves people let, telling other people about products they've purchased. So, for instance, if you go to Denny's, you have a great meal, you may tell one or two people. But if you have a terrible meal and get food poisoning, you're going to tell everybody that you know. Adapting to change, I want you to read this, uh, what our company is yelping about. Uh, Yelp can, very, it can hurt places, especially restaurants. Uh, viral marketing is any strategy that encourages people to pass on a marketing message to others, creating exponential growth in a message's influence as a message reaches thousands to millions, right? So somebody texts us, hey, text this to your friends, blah, 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 you know, that, that things have gone viral. Hey, send this video out, it's gone viral, uh, which is a great way to go since we all have these phones, like this lady, we have all these phones in our hands uh, all the time. Uh, podcasting means uh, distributing multimedia digital files on the internet. For downloading a portable media player, so podcasts are important. Uh, they're a great way to capture your existing uh, prospective customers' attention uh, for an extended period of time. So it's a great thing. You so this is these are people that I'm specifically trying to market, and and they're the ones I have them right there at my fingertips. So I'm I'm going to hit them up with my with my podcast email campaigns. We get all kind of emails all the time, which is great. Uh, some of us don't want it, but you can always scroll down and, and hit that unsubscribe button. Uh, and that there's, a, you know, the true definition for, you know, for podcasting right there means of distributing multimedia digital files on the Internet for downloading on a portable uh, media player. All those things that we really like, say we listen to those different uh, podcasts. Uh, see, these are great, you know, like at a bus stop at a subway. You see that the ads are, are right there. You're going to look at you look at and then all of a sudden, oh, now I'm getting stove top for dinner. Why did I get stove top for dinner? Because it was at the bus stop and I'm sitting there and I'm, you know, and I'm, I'm looking at it and it's influencing my mind. So push and pull strategy, you need to read these two carefully, slowly to understand the difference. So push strategy is a promotional strategy in which the producer uses advertising, promotion, personal selling, uh, sales promotion, and all other promotional tools to convince wholesalers and retailers to stock uh, and sell their merchandise. So we're saying, hey, we want to push it on you. You know, Ralph's, uh, Food for Less, Kroger, everybody, we want you to carry our olives. A uh, pool strategy is a little different. So promotional strategy in which heavy advertising and sales promotion efforts are directed toward the consumer so that they'll request the products from their retailers. Hey, I, I really need these olives. Uh, can you guys can you guys carry them? Because because uh, they're the greatest thing ever. And then I'm going to Kroger, I'm going to Rouse, I'm going to Food for Less and I'm requesting it. And uh, as always, test prep. Be sure to uh, to go through those. We just went over a couple of those definitions. So you should be very, very familiar uh, with that. And we are now at the end of chapter 16. Wasn't that so easy? Didn't this course by, go by so, so fast? Uh, so some of you guys are like, no way. Uh, but uh, this is a summary as always. I want you to go through the summary. It's a great summary. It will help you to get a great grade, and which most of you guys have on your quizzes and your tests. Uh, so be sure to, to go through that in its totality. It has a lot of great things at the end of the chapter for you. Make sure that you know each one of those key terms uh, and be ready for the quiz or the test. So that's it. Uh, you know, you have some extra time to, to complete your assignments, but you guys should be wrapping everything up, uh, most specifically uh, before Christmas. Get everything done, everything in the books, uh, so uh, so that I can, uh, you know, kind of get everything over to you. And actually, I, I said before Christmas, but I think the next day when everything should be done, it should be done by the 20th. You should have everything wrapped up, all quizzes, all tests, uh, all homework assignments, everything should be done and in uh, by the 20th. Uh, so I can go ahead and get your guys' gr uh, final grades out as soon as possible. It's been a pleasure. Pleasure's been all mine. Uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in other classes uh, throughout uh, the next uh, upcoming and uh, future semesters. Uh, so I want you guys to do great on the quiz and tests uh, and always have a good day and a great week.